Hi everybody, my name is Sayed Daoud. Today we will learn how to perform the specific gravity of fine aggregate. We will, we will learn how to perform or determine the, the specific gravity of sand. The significance and use of this uh, test is to determine the volume which will be occupied by the fine aggregate in the concrete mixture or in other mixtures we will use the fine aggregate to prepare it uh, the required the required tools and uh, uh, the required tools and equipment to perform this test are uh, pallets and washing bottle and brush filter paper Timber and cone for determining the moisture content of the case of saturated surface dry SSD. Saturated surface dry means the particles of the fine aggregate are completely saturated, but the surface of the particles is dry. No moisture on the surface of the particles. Water for following the technometer and the container for submerging the specimen. Firstly, we have to submerge the specimen for 24 hours to make sure or to achieve the saturation case or, the com or to achieve completely saturated phase of the specimen. The specimen should be passing sieve number four, which its mesh diameter is 4.75 millimeter. The mesh opening is diameter of sieve number four are 4.75 millimeters. After submerging the specimen for 24 hours, we have to remove, to remove the extra water by using the filter paper by using the filter paper we will remove the extra water we use the filter paper to keep the fine aggregates or fine materials from losing We will wait under, uh, until the water comes down from the filter paper and we will take the fine, uh, the fine material will be remain, retained on this filter paper and return it to the main specimen. Okay. After finish this process or this procedure, we will uh, dry the uh, specimen, partially drying to achieve the saturated surface dry phase like this. I have prepared three, uh, three samples. I, I have previously prepared three samples with three moisture content. This is the saturated surface dry. This specimen is saturated surface dry. We will see how to uh, determine or distinguish it now. This is uh, this sample has excessive moisture content and this has uh, a little moisture content it, it's mostly or almost uh, uh, dry so what is the meaning of uh, SSD as we said before it's, uh, it means uh, saturated surface dry the particles are completely saturated but the surface is dry we will determine it by following this, uh, this cone by sand. As you see, I filled, I filled the cone with sand and I will remove the loose material from the piece. And I will compact the specimen with 25 blows with this timber. The standard falling distance is 5 millimeter 
above the surface, the top surface of the specimen. I, I have to permit this timber uh, to, uh, fall in, to fall in freely, like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, 20, 24, 23, 24, 25. After that, I will remove the cone vertically. As you see, it's slightly slumped, slumped, not completely slumped. So this is the saturated surface dry. Okay. In the second case, we will see. We will we will repeat this uh, uh, procedure for this sample. We will compact this specimen with twenty. Five close as you see, as you saw before. One. I will remove the loose material from the face and remove the cone vertically. As you see, it has no uh, no slumping. It has no collapsing. So this means that uh, the the sample. Uh, still has uh, some moisture on the, the surface. Okay, look for the third sample. Look. It's completely collapsed. It has completely collapsed or completely slumped. This means the sample became uh, more dry than desired. Uh, so this is my sample, my SSD sample, my saturated surface dry sample. After that, I will take uh, 100 gram for this uh, uh, from this saturated surface dry sample in this container. Okay, I will. And I will take 100 gram. So this is 100 gram. Okay. I I will record the weight. 100 gram SSD weight of SSD saturated surface dry 100 gram point seven. Okay, after that, I will place this sample in the technometer. Okay, I will place this sample in the technometer. After placing the sample, after placing the sample in the technometer, I will fill the technometer till this. Uh, this calibrated capacity mark, this line, okay? After filling the pycnometer with water to the uh, calibrated capacity uh, mark, I will uh, roll the pycnometer to uh, eliminate the, uh, the trapped air bubbles in the water and in the, in the specimen, in the sample. As you see, After after removing the air bubbles, I will adjust I will adjust the level of water to make it with the calibrated capacity mark as you see okay and I will dry and clean the out surface of the pycnometer okay and I will record the weight of pycnometer plus sample plus water. This is the weight of the weight of sample, the weight of pycnometer plus sample plus water. Okay. After after recording the weight of pycnometer plus sample plus water, I will remove the sample from the pycnometer to dry it.
I will keep removing the water as you see by this method okay I use the filter paper to uh, prevent losing the, the fine the fine materials so, as you see the fine materials are retained on the the, the filter paper so I will keep doing this procedure till finish removing the water after that I will place the, the specimen or the sample in this dish as you see after that by using the washing bottle I will wash the pycnometer I will keep washing the pycnometer until remove all the materials in the pycnometer and place it in the dish After that, I will take the filter paper and wash it. I will remove the extra water carefully and gently after that I will place the specimen or sample in the oven to make it dry to a constant weight Okay, after after drying the specimen, I will record the often dry weight of the specimen. This is the oven dried the oven dried sample, the weight of sample after drying, uh, 97.8. I will record it. 97.8. After that, I will fill the pycnometer with water and determine the weight of pycnometer plus water. I will fill the pycnometer to the calibrated capacity mark. As you see, this is a calibrated capacity mark, and I will take the weight of pycnometer plus sample by plus water six seventeen point five six hundred seventeen point five. Okay. After that, the I will calculate the absorption and the specific gravity as in the formulas uh, if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and uh, make like if you want to ask any question please uh, write your comment I will, and I will reply you you can follow me or uh, send me a friend request on Facebook you will find the link of my Facebook uh, account below the video thank you for watching the video bye